Alright guys, this is a bit of a discussion video on um revivals of old nineties and eighties T V shows, particularly cartoon shows, need to end because of um the lack of uh careness about uh, the quality of the T V shows. Now, I'm basing this off of um the return of the um Doug Tales uh old Disney series that is, uh, due to be released in, uh, 2017. Now, um, don't get me wrong, I love the original DuckTales. Screw Chewy Dewey and Lily World, our old friends, <laughs> in more ways than one. <laughs> um, but, I mean, I'm not saying that, uh, the, re the revival's a god-awful idea or nothing, I'm just saying... Given the positive, given the history of uh, companies and reviving um, some of some of their old classics, I'm just worried about um, what it's going to do to the show's history. Now, um, case in point, um, for for those of you that don't know, um, Cartoon Network is planning on reviving it. Uh, 1998, it um, the Powerpuff Girls. Now the um now as I've said in videos that I've talked about that I have no problem with that I'm not really excited for it but the problem is um they're not sticking truly to um the show's heritage like as I told you guys in the last video I made about it they're not using any of the three original voice actors that voice Blossom Bubbles or Buttercup. So who's to say that they're not going to do the same to who we do in Louie or Scrooge? Now given for that you could make a bit of an exception because their original voice actors are probably A, very, very old, or dead and gone to hell. <laughs> um, but uh, my main thing about those voices is try to get as close as to the original voice as humanly possible. Um, not to mention, don't use CGI for DuckTales, or for that matter, they shouldn't use CGI for any uh, older show revival. Because you want to try and appeal to the new generation of fans, yes, but also, you want you want to try and c c cater to um the show's older generation of fans. Now um, case in point again, the um new uh, Dragon Ball Super series that I've um, made many, 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 many videos about. Um, that's catering to the uh new, new and older fans such as myself because. Um, the animation styles, still in the same way we're, we remember, most of the characters are the same ones we remember, and it's treated with uh, the utmost respect. Um, now, my only problem with revivals of old shows is, half the time, the, uh, companies or cre creators of the show aren't original and don't care. Um, now, for me, that's a little insulting as a fan of the product because I wouldn't want that done to mine, so I usually don't like it when it's done to something I like. Because um, people like uh, Monsters Review could uh, probably vouch for this future go on SSJ2 as well. When I wing it into a TV show or something, it's almost like we feel as though Pop those characters or those characters or that franchise almost becomes a part of our family. Obviously not literally, but you guys get what I'm getting at. Um it's like you put put in so much time with these characters and you spend what a half hour or an hour at every week. Uh, for a period of time of your life with these guys. So it's almost like on a regular basis you can 
Well, I do them as an actual real person, even if it's not live action. Um, so, if, uh, companies can't, um, continue to respect the heritage of shows that they plan to revive, then the revivals need to end, just to have respect for the original product. Now, there are certain cases where, um, the, the show is still respected in its original heritage. Like, uh, Flintstone Stone Smackdown, for example. Now, unfortunately, the, uh, mastermind behind all the original voices for those guys is long gone. But, they get close enough to the original voice that it still feels like Fred, Barney, and Wilma. Um, so yeah. The bottom line is, guys, if companies can't get the respect, then they shouldn't do it. That's it for this one. Keep on rocking